I recently bought this uh, Philips Type N4308 tape machine f locally for 10 euros, which is not a lot for a real to real tape machine. Um, as you can see from the picture, it's in fairly bad condition, and I suspect it's a high hour unit. Um, but I'll try and restore this, and yeah, we'll see if it can be fixed or if it's just a, a absolute junk bin item. I anyway, I won't regret buying this because um, for for ten euros, uh, it's anyway it's an hour of fun and a couple of parts I can use, um, even if it's completely and utterly broken. So uh, let's see. But the next thing we should do to assess the condition of this tape machine is to uh, just open it up. It opens with two... Oops, I popped the camera there. It opens uh, with, with two um, sort of sliders on the side that you slide out and they reveal this tape machine has a nice VU meter, albeit fairly dirty. One of the knobs down here is broken, and the Philips logo over here is completely rubbed out. Also, a fair bit of grime here. This screw, or this screw, has been replaced. I don't think this is this is probably not the original one. Um, can't get to the tape head. But I think the first thing I'll do is just. Plug this in and see how it fares. There's people who do this slowly on the very egg, and I sometimes do that. But this is this is a ten euro tape machine. Um, if it burns, it burns. So I plug the Philips in, and I set the very egg to two hundred twenty five volts. I'll switch on the power on the socket it's plugged in and then we'll just give it a little push here. Oh yeah, this doesn't sound that doesn't sound any that doesn't sound any good. It's not doing anything at all. It's not moving. Um and it sounds it sounds like something is shorted inside. Um it might be a blown capacitor, um, or it might be the motor that that shorted out. Um, on these on these real to real tape recorders, the motor is most likely the uh, also the transformer. So if it's burned out, there's uh, not much hope of finding a replacement. Um, for everything else, luckily enough, the service information you get on the internet on on this is extremely good and I mean this is I think it's around 50 pages it has everything from drawings of the circuit board to lists of components and all kinds all kinds of neat stuff the description of the attached microphone if you should have one of those and all all kind of neat service information so if there's anything wrong with this electronically, I well, except for, for the motor being burned out, I can probably fix this. Um, also, I'd suspect that uh, uh, the drive belts are most likely worse for wear. Um, I'll probably have to replace those, but they're still available. Um, they ridiculously expensive but um, they're still available. So the next thing I'll do is I'll open this up and we'll have a little look-see at the, at the drive mechanism here under, under this cover. I haven't had this tape machine open, this, this reel-to-reel -reel tape recorder open, so um, I will be just as surprised as you are. I'll just remove the case screws here. There's a couple of them.
and I will pull off the knobs. So with that off, now the thing should just lift out. Oh yeah, there it goes. Oh, we also have to remove that stop button down here. Come on. Oh, this is this is loose. And um, as I thought. There's the remnants of the drive belt. Ah, this is this rubber has turned liquid over the years. Mechanism itself is very dirty. Yeah, it confirms my suspicion of this being a high hour unit. The motor down there. I don't think you can see that on camera. No, if I shine a little, if I push it over here, shine a little light on it. It looks... Well, it looks burned, to be honest. It looks burned. So, before I do anything else, I'll check on the motor. So we're back here on the underside of the Philips reel-to-reel -reel machine and I'm trying to get those screws down there out of there and what I noticed while turning this around there's 4K screws two here and two up here just outside of the camera here and I noticed two of those are gone they look like this, little flathead screws. Um, I suspect that the person who sold me this probably had it open, looked at it, saw something they couldn't repair, and then just bolted it together half-heartedly and sold it off to me. Which um, probably means... Well, maybe I can fix it, but the chances are getting slimmer. The more I look at this, the more it looks I can't get it open. I'll quickly look at this off camera and determine how to get it open. So it turns out what you have to do to get this out is to unscrew the, the bolts on the bottom and then lift it up um, out of the, the opening where it's sat. The whole mechanism. It's like an old radio, like a, like a radio chassis where you would just lift it out from the front plate but here you lift it through the front and the whole back assembly just comes off. Um, I'm very surprised that this motor here, it doesn't have any additional windings on it, but instead there is this big transformer over here um, that is obviously doing the, the power supply. Doesn't look in... Well, it looks in okay condition. This looks a lot less burned than I thought it would. Um, 
but it's yeah, it's it's not moving around easily. Well, it's okay, I suppose. Um, this tape machine did not have a loving home. This is the speaker. It's broken here. And someone just stuffed it back in and mounted it by, by using a screw. Uh, that I don't think was part of the original assembly. So, I also noticed this. Yeah, this is just... this. Electrolytic capacitor is just hanging around here. This would have been damaged anyway. Um, those are all... They are all bad. They all have to be replaced. Um, voltage selector here is in the right position. I checked that before I turned it on. So what I'll do next is I'll just, I'll just plug it in again. Maybe I need to make a better camera mount. This is not great. So I'll just plug it in again. And switch it on and we'll see if the motor starts turning. Oh yeah! Great. That is very good. Motor seems to be fine, it's running very good. Bit of grease on there and it will probably run like like new. So there's still hope for this for this tape machine. Great. I will probably do the circuit board next. Um look at that in more detail. I'll do that in another video.